I had always wanted, since I was a little kid, I'd see these older couples dancing. Every step was perfect. Rochelle Shatina was looking for the perfect partner in dance and in life, and she thought she found him. In Lubbock, Texas, Dr. Joseph Sonier was newly single after his wife of 27 years left him for another man. When they got divorced, it was a shock to him. Then, in the summer of 2011, he met Rochelle Shatina. She's blonde, she's tall, she's gorgeous. She was stunning. I think that they were very much enjoying each other. So he was smitten. He was. Where's your head? Soon, he took her to visit his grandchildren in Los Angeles, then to Paris. The tradition is you write your names on the locks and you put it on the bridge and you throw the key into the Seine River and that locks in the moment forever. But for Rochelle and Joseph, forever would only be a matter of weeks. On a sweltering Wednesday in July of 2012, a landscaper discovered Dr. Sanye's body. He had been shot and stabbed. I need somebody to hurry. Yes, ma'am. Zach Johnson, a homicide detective with the Lubbock Police, headed to the scene. There was artwork in the home. There were very expensive pieces of furniture. Nothing was taken. We were dealing with something that was a hit of, you know, of sorts, that somebody had come to this house and to kill this person specifically. The Sanye children were devastated. Their mother had been murdered two years before by the man she left their father for. He then committed suicide. And now, their father violently killed too. The authorities immediately brought in Rochelle for questioning. How would you describe your relationship with Dr. Sanye? He's the love of my life. Detectives wondered if someone in Rochelle's past could have done this out of jealousy. So there, there could be somebody that you think we, we need to look at. A couple of people. It's Dr. Thomas Michael Dixon, he's a plastic surgeon in Amarillo. Rochelle Shatina and Mike Dixon had dated for about a year and a half. So he wanted you to see him on the side, basically. He wanted me to come back to him. I told him no. Eager to question Dr. Dixon, Detective Johnson drives two hours to Amarillo, Texas secretly recording him. Hi, I hate to come bugging you at your house in all hours of the night. What's going on? Well, we've had a homicide in Lubbock, Texas today. He tells Dr. Dixon the victim is Rochelle Shatina's new boyfriend. I don't know anything about him. I haven't talked to her in months and months. You know, I'll be honest with you, I love, love, love that woman. I really do. Even after Rochelle and Dr. Dixon broke up, they stayed in touch even planning a weekend getaway, which Rochelle abruptly canceled. The next day, she's like, hey, sorry, I'm in love with my, my dance partner. Dr. Dixon and Rochelle both had airtight alibis for the night of the murder. There's something not right here, but that's all that I have. This is a huge whodunit. But the case broke wide open with this tip. My name's Paul Reynolds. I think we got a crime that happened down here in Lubbock. It's a homicide. And with this friend of mine, he said he went down there and, mm -hmm. and he said he shot the guy. There. And what is your, your your roommate's name? His name's Dave the Shepherd. S H E P A R D. Shepherd, an unemployed salesman, had a criminal record. Dad didn't have money. I was 17, working part time after school, and he borrowed money from me. <laughs> he had no known connection to Dr. Sonye, but guess who he's best buddies with? Dr. Dixon. It was an unlikely bromance. Dixon, a successful plastic surgeon, and Shepard, a divorced, unemployed con man. But the two men bonded over their love for cigars and martinis. Dad wanted to be Mike. Buy the nice house that's right outside of town. Detectives started to believe that Mike Dixon found the perfect person to help him disrupt Rochelle's new life. In the minds of investigators, Dixon they think is a puppet master and Shepard the puppet. Six days after the murder, Shepard and Dixon are arrested. Two suspects are in custody in connection with the murder of a Lubbock physician. After spending over three months in jail, Shepard confessed after prosecutors told him 
they would take the death penalty off the table. He's laying on the floor, not moving, not breathing. He told police Dixon asked him to follow Rochelle and her new boyfriend to get pictures, which led to conversations about murder. I cannot believe that they did this. It makes me so angry. <laughs> a a, a low-life scum and a piece of doctor. It seemed like a slam dunk for prosecutors. They had the man who admitted to killing Dr. Joseph Sonier as a witness. We knew they had the right guys. In my mind, there was no other possibility. Shepard pled guilty to Sonier's murder and got life in prison. In exchange, he agreed to testify against Dr. Dixon. Shocking testimony today at the capital murder trial for Amarillo Dr. Thomas Dixon. But at Dixon's trial, a bombshell. Shepard did a 180, saying his friend didn't put him up to the murder. This is the kind of moment that you typically see in a movie. That stuff doesn't typically happen in real courtrooms. After Shepard's about face on the witness stand, the jury was hung, and Dr. Dixon was released. It was devastating. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't think. Do you think that he was the biggest factor to getting that hung jury? Absolutely, 100%. Prosecutors didn't give up. In 2015, a second trial. Amarillo Dr. Michael Dixon is back on trial for capital murder. This time, Dr. Michael Dixon was convicted with the help of David Shepard's own daughter, Haley, who testified that their always broke father suddenly had money. We all remember this same exact moment at dinner. We all asked him, how do you have money? And his words were, I did some work for Mike. What would you do? He wouldn't tell Don't us. Worry about I just it. did some work for Mike. Don't worry about it. The verdict is in. Unanimous verdict. Guilty on two charges. After a few minutes, I had to turn to my wife and I had to say, he, he said guilty, right? He said guilty. We've been waiting for that moment for over three years. Dixon was sentenced to life in prison and was serving his time at the All Red Maximum Security Prison when the Seventh Court of Appeals overturned his conviction this past December on the grounds that the judge occasionally closed the courtroom when he shouldn't have and that information from cell phone towers was obtained without appropriate warrants. He's now out of prison, living in the Amarillo area. Prosecutors are fighting the ruling, and he may be tried a third time. His lawyers insist Dr. Dixon never ordered a hit on Dr. Sanye, and that David Shepard acted alone. While Dixon was released on a reduced bond and is free for now, David Shepard is spending the rest of his life behind bars at this maximum security prison in West Texas. I put myself in a bad position, and I've got no one to blame but myself. Shepard claims Dr. Sanye's death was an accident. Things got out of hand. Unintentionally, gun fired. Did Mike Dixon ever ask you to kill Dr. No, Joseph No, absolutely Sanye? not. Absolutely not. When the police interrogated you, you said, that Mike Dixon was a part of this. Right. Why did you tell them that? I embellished. I felt that's what I had to do. What would you say to them right now if they were watching? <laughs> I tell them that I'm very sorry. I took your loved one. Almost seven years after their father's death. I thank the Lord for every moment that we had with Joe. Dr. Sonia's family is stuck in limbo, but his sons vow to teach their children what a kind and supportive man their grandfather was. My son was born after my father was murdered. It's heartbreaking, and it's also a challenge to make sure that, that my son knows what kind of man my father was. For Nightline, I'm Ryan Smith in New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.